Hi, Dr. Heavenly. Hey, how are you, OJ? Good. How are you? Magnificent. Magnificent. Oh, you, well, you look magnific magnificent. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate I'm so, it. I'm so excited. I get to see the, the infamous closet you record in all the time. I think I see your closet, too. Is that your closet, darling? <laughs> I, was, I was trying to mimic your closet. <laughs> that ain't. No, no. You, you, yeah, no. I know. I, I just I, got I, some I, hangers. Yeah, I didn't come correct. I, I had to get my I, next time. For, I'm at my next time. Correct. Next time. We got something to work on. Right. Exactly. Some of the goals. Well, congratulations. The new season of Married to Medicine. I mean, it's crazy already. Let season 11. Yes. 11. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Did, would you did you think when you first started on this journey back in what season two that you would be still on this show all these years later? No, I would have never thought that. I would have never thought I would have done reality TV, period. But I'm here, and 11 years later, still here. Which is, it's crazy. You guys are going strong. It's one of my favorite TV shows on television. Yeah. You guys are so smart, so funny. Um, how is that balance, you know, being a working woman and still and having a family? How are you still balancing all these years later? Well, you know, our production company does a fantastic job of keeping up with our schedules, even though they may be kind of hectic and they work around our work schedules. Um, and balance, like you say, my kids are grown now, so now it's actually easier than it was before. Because when we started, my daughter was seven. She's now 19. So Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. I, that makes me feel old. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Yeah, <laughs> so. So many special moments. Speaking of you brought your, your kids up and your, your lovely daughter. Um and you have such an amazing family. Uh, is it? Do you guys enjoy having those moments on tape, or is that weird, or what is that dynamic like? It depends on what child you want to ask. Uh, my daughter loves it. My daughter loves it. My boys not so much. My boys not so much. And my husband, he does it as long as he doesn't have to be in the minutia of the stuff. But he always has my back. You know. Well, he's so smart. He maneuvers very well without the group. Like absolutely he's caught up in any of the drama. Most times, I think this year may be a little bit different, but OK, yeah, a little bit different. Well, I'm sure he's going to persevere and like look like the star that he is always. Absolutely. Always, always, always. Well, speaking of the season, I mean, we, we've all seen the trailer, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's, as always, it's super drama. Can you give us a little bit of like what you're getting into this season? Um, I'm just being myself. I'm the normal heavenly. Um, don't ask me questions you don't want the answer to. Uh, and I'm just gonna observe things and talk about them. So, what you got? It's all good. <laughs> I mean, as always, you have your your, your girls back naturally. Um, Absolutely. Dr. Jackie, you always have her back. Team Dr. Jackie, heavenly is the captain. But you yes. be back on good path with Quad. How's that working out? Yeah, I'm doing well with all the ladies, Quad, Simone, uh, Toya. Um, I don't talk to Toya as much, but I think we're in an okay place. Um, so yeah, the Fab Five, the core of the show, we're all pretty close, you know. Quad, we're doing great. I think she had a rough season uh, last season. You know, it was a lot of things going on and people had their reasonings for it. But, you know, I came in and I was like, you know, it wasn't that deep for me. So I apologize immediately. You saw the first episode, right? Yeah, so I apologize. I felt like shit, ain't nobody did more than I have. So if you're going to castrate somebody, um, you know. All right. Well, I didn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. They like to get at you because you're, you're, so, you're so smart. I think mm -hmm. they, they get a little bit of jealousy because their tongue is so quick. And I think they like to come for you because of that. I think all the ladies have a pretty good tongue. You know, I don't think I, you know, mine might be a little bit better. But, you know, all of them have a pretty good tongue. I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. And then we have Dr. Contessa back in the mix. Yes, Dr. Contessa's there. Uh, <laughs> she is there. She is present. Was it good having her background? Because you guys ended your journey last time we saw her. It was on a bit of a rough note. But now you have a second chance to... It's on a rough note in her life. I wasn't in a rough note. It was her life. And then she came back and act like it was me that was causing her rough. But my whole thing is this. Um, Contessa's an amazing woman. I'm glad that she's back. I think she brings a dynamic to the show that's not there. And I think she's definitely needed. I think she's the epitome of merit to medicine. Oh, yeah, for sure. She's, I mean, all you guys are. You guys are all doing great, amazing things. Um, and then speaking of, we have Miss Phaedra Park still on the show, which is, I think, probably be her, her last season on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, what What is she, did you enjoy her this season, the second time around? Let's enjoy Phaedra. I mean, she's Phaedra. She's 
Pagering the way she does. And yeah. <laughs> Pagering the way she does. Okay, of course. Quotes. Quotes on quotes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have your son with you now helping you out at the practice. How's that going? Oh, it's going amazing. He's actually in his first year of dental school. So I'm very, very proud of that. They did his white coat ceremony. So it'll be three years that he'll come out, you know, um, and take over my practice. So, you know, wow. I transition him in. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for him and he's excited as well. So is he officially a doctor now? No, not yet. He um, he's in school. He got three more years. So he's in dental school now. He graduated from UGA and now he's in dental school. Wow. OK, so you you headed to retirement. Ah, uh, semi, uh, semi, semi. I don't think I'd ever stop working because I love what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I mean you're a huge entrepreneur. Do you still are you still doing the beauty thing or with like all the? No, oh. when my daughter left, I didn't have it. That wasn't my interest. I was trying to keep her home, and then she decided to go to FAMU, and it wasn't fun anymore without her. But it did well initially. But when she left, I didn't want to go over there anymore. So my thing ain't Harris teeth, you know? Right. So, and you do teeth well. Yes, um, that's what I do. Are you expanding? Speaking of entrepreneurship, is that you're always doing your different things? Are you are you expanding any other practices or any other business ventures? Uh, it, possibly, possibly. I know I have my own brand coming out. Um, we have our own line of um color correctors, if you will, whitening teeth whitening kits that color correct the uh composite veneers. Um, and I have some other stuff coming out, but I'm always staying in my lane of dentistry right now. So. I love that. Well, you all, but you also all, all over the YouTube, of course. Oh yeah, absolutely, and will continue to be. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are so good on it. I mean, honestly, I would love your channel. And mm -hmm. every time you get together with Carlos, it's always you guys just cut up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Yes, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'll be on YouTube this year and Patreon. Patreon, and well, I'll say the stuff that I can't say on YouTube. So we'll do both. Exactly. And and that and that subscription is totally different. That business model as well as the whole Yeah, a little thing. different. It's a little different. Yep. We're just, we ain't mad at. We we're not mad at. So mm -hmm. I always enjoy the trips on these shows. Can you mm -hmm. give us a little snippet about where you guys might be going this season, trip wise? I'm not sure if I can say that. Um we definitely have some great trips going on where all the ladies come. We do a girls' trip and then we do a couples trip, which both of them were very interesting for lack of a better word. Um, we always have a good time. We always do something very different. We always give back to the community, but it's always some shit. It's always some stuff, uh, OJ. I don't know why, but you know. I, I don't know either, because you, you guys got the recipe to do right. <laughs> right, we do, but we just, everybody a little different. People think of things differently, so. I know. Well, you guys, you guys still manage to keep even through the mess. You guys, I think, do a beautiful job of still managing to have those like important breakthrough moments of like elevating the culture and the people. Absolutely, like, absolutely. Like, I mean, At the end of the day, we're very intelligent, educated women. So yeah, we can always bring it back and 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 focus on what really matters for sure. Right, which is showcasing our people, you know, in a beautiful light. Yeah. Um, Last in week. a real light, in a real light. Everybody real has light. emotions. Everybody, uh, you know what I mean, has emotions. And even though we're doctors, we still have real feelings and we are real friends. So it comes out in a very dramatic or or very emotional way, you know? It, uh, totally, which is super cool because you guys, I think one of the few shows, No Shade, that have real relationships, have real friendships, do actually keep it real and not faking anything for the show. So right. I, think, I think that brings the authenticity that most shows don't have. I would agree with that. Oh, period. Um, I would agree with that. <laughs> um, we've in the past we've gotten an amazing moment of you know Vice President Kamala Harris and Dr. Jackie having that beautiful moment. Are we gonna get anything of that kind of nature this season? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll have some of those moments. I'm not gonna say exactly what they are, but yeah, we have some powerful moments. You know, we've had Al Sharpton on and and Ben Crump and all those. We will continue to bring in people that are influential in in our community and our culture. So absolutely, that's what marriage to medicine is. We always give back to the community. We bring influential people in. We showcase black doctors in their their element, you know, being a physician or a dentist or or an attorney in in a Phaedra's case and show our real family. So, you know, I'm just excited that we're season 11. We're back and we're better than ever. I, you know, and I say it every year. It's the best, ever, the best season ever. This is the best season ever. It really is. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. I, it, it, it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> a good mess. It's a good mess. It's, it's a what y'all want. It's what y'all want.
It's, it is. We can't help it. It's all Yeah, we y'all all. can't help it. So don't be mad at it if it's what you want. No, we all if you guilty. didn't have it, you're gonna talk about it, right? Exactly. Everybody, everybody's guilty, child. Um, mm -hmm. eleven seasons in. You, I mean, people often always say that marriage medicine is underdog. Like you know, people giving its attention that it finally deserves. Do you still feel that way, or do you? What do you think about that? Like it being kind um, of. I think that um, no, we do not get the press that we deserve. No, absolutely not. But however, I do think that Phaedra brought eyes to the show. I think that the uh, dynamic of uh. Quad's ex-husband and his new wife brought a great dynamic to the show that we've never seen before and all the feelings and emotions that were there. Um, and um, yeah, I think that definitely this season, it brings it in, in, in many ways. Yeah, I mean, it's not just one person. Everybody brings it, you know, everybody. Does. That's one thing about Mary the Medicine. I mean, people have their favorites, but one standout person. No, I think everybody on the show is working. No, and you everybody on the show ensemble. brings their own dynamic. Yes. You guys are a true ensemble and everybody generally shows up to work. Which is absolutely. Nice. That's absolutely right. Um, and with speaking of show up to work, we have some new people in the workspace this season. Yes. Um, how do we feel about the new doctor? Uh Dr. Mimi, she's a nice lady. I don't think we got to to know her as well as I would have. I had it, I didn't, you know. But um, she seems to be a very nice lady. Her husband, Steve, she's a psychiatrist, which is also needed probably in this group. So I think that she brings an excellent dynamic as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're, we're excited to meet her. We get to know some of the new faces that always come on, but hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, she can stick around and we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we man. shall see. We'll see. It's a she tough gotta... group. It's a tough, tough group to penetrate. Right. She got to go to the school of Dr. Heavenly. I mean, you know, somebody. Dr. Heavenly University. There you have it. There you have it. <laughs> If she enrolls, she might stick around. You never know. She might. She might or she might not. She might fail. Like You're some right. of the things have done. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll, yeah, we'll see. Uh, after you do a show for this long, do you question how much longer you want to do the show? And does that start to pop in your head a bit? I mean, right now, I'm just enjoying everything. You know, you always look at it, you know, how much longer could it go? Because I never thought it would go 11 years, but we're happy, we're grateful, we're humble, and we're just excited to keep it going as long as it, as long as y'all want us. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all want us. So we're excited and grateful. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, in the trailer, there was some um, explosiveness uh, between you and Sweet Tea. Um, do you see a path forward for you two at this point, or like? I feel that she's very different. So you know what I mean. For us to ever probably really have something real, probably not. But be amicable. I can do that with anyone. Right. I mean, you're professional, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I mean, so we'll see. We'll see. I mean, yeah, we'll see. She's come in like a firecracker, so I hope, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not, okay. <laughs> I will leave it alone, but okay. Right. Well, shout out to Sweet Tea. Um, Dr. Heavenly, we are all obsessed with you. We love you. Thank you so much for sending time to talk Thank to me. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you, OJ. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you.